Hi, she was seven. I'm back. Okay, so yeah, I know I'm looking kind of dark today, but I do have other channels in this list. I'll look for one of my channels, so y'all just ignore this. Uh, <laughs> it's very vampire esque, but it kind of goes in with today's topic. So, today's topic is how to allure and seduce any man, or unless he's gay, <laughs> uh, but still, you know they might fall for it you never know <laughs> okay so these are just my tips okay this is what works for me I don't know okay what works for other people but this is what works for me wearing skirts or dresses um, there's just something about a flowy dress or a skirt that really screams feminine um, and you know it can't but you know make men's minds wonder what's under there what color panties does she have on you know it's just it's automatically going to make them feel like <laughs> you know there's something under that dress and the you know so dresses and skirts um are one way to like if you're trying to seduce a man wear that um, perfume okay smells are very important when you are around a man you need a very memorable smell don't grab some perfume that everyone wears grab something rare maybe expensive that he's not gonna smell everywhere so that your smell is unique okay um, like right now what I like to wear I have two fragrances uh, black, um, I have Burberry my Burberry black and it's very sensual um, and then I like to wear Tom Ford black orchid okay uh, those are very sensual and seductive scents and they're um, every time I wear the Tom Ford every, guys always ask me what are you wearing what are you wearing women too um, I was out to eat and my waiter was like oh my god I don't mean to sound crazy but what perfume is that I have to buy it for my wife it smells so good and I just keep passing by and smelling it and I just have to know so my daughter was with me and she was like looking at me and looking at him crazy I'm like how dare you come on to my mother she's married but he told you know I'm not coming on to you I just love your perfume so smells the next thing is how you speak your tone is your voice relaxing is it annoying is it too high pitched is it too low pitched do you sound too masculine um, because your voice when you speak is going to be in his head and if it's an annoying voice it's going to be a turn off if it's a high squeaky you know a, you know extra high pitched voice that's very um, annoying as well but you know if you have a really high pitched voice speak softer it, it helps you not to sound so squeaky if you have a very low voice and you're a woman speak softer and it feminizes it okay so yes uh, also you know I think a lot of men like women who uh, don't talk over them and they speak you know when it's their turn and uh, they speak as far as you know answering the questions logically da, 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 da. but you know they just want to know that you can hold a conversation and that you do have something to talk about so brains is always one of the top things that turn a man on do you know something are you uh, well versed on something are you knowledgeable about something do you have like a passion or you know something that you study or research that you can just impress him with okay knowledge even if you're not a scholar you can find something to speak about intelligently you know anybody can do that <laughs> um, second it's um, you know your free time you know, a man does not want a woman who's always free. So always make yourself busy. Always say, oh, yeah, I have a lot going on right now. Uh, make yourself seem in demand. You know, if you're always in demand, if you're always busy, um, 
they're going to have to try to get your attention in a very strong way. Um, I believe that even in one of my favorite songs, Butterflies, ignoring a man is a turn on. Um, even in Butterflies, this is all you got to do is walk away and pass me by. Don't acknowledge my smile. When I try to say hello. Okay, y'all know I love Michael Jackson. I'm sorry, I had, to, I had to, I had to. Okay, so even in that song, he's telling you, ignoring a man, not being too available, not being too eager is what turned them on. Because if you're easy, if you read the comments in my videos, guys are out for easy women to use them. But if you're a challenge, and they know that you're not an easy target, those certain type of men will not approach you, okay? So when you're a challenge and you ignore certain types of people, um, the ones who really want you are gonna come after you. The ones who think you're too much of a challenge and don't wanna work for it and will wait for someone with less value of themselves, those are the guys you want to not, not entertain, but Yes, a man loves a challenge in a woman. Loves it. It's It creates chemistry, you know. Can I get this woman? So never, you know, be too eager when approached. You know, make them work for it. Men like to work for stuff. Okay. Um, don't wear too much jewelry. And uh, don't wear too much makeup. Don't go out like this saying, hey. You know, this is for camera, this is for fun. Like I have a makeup channel and stuff like that. But I would never go out looking like this when I'm trying to, like I'm already married, but when I was younger, I would never go, well actually I would. <laughs> but like when guys would approach me, I would be uh, more natural. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have too much on my face because sometimes people think you're a drag queen, seriously. <laughs> so don't do too much you know let them see your, your face okay as women we like to wear makeup because it's art it's fun the products are nice and we just get all caught up into it like i do and then some days i don't feel like wearing makeup at all so be able to look natural and good in makeup as well you know what i'm saying know what you're doing when you, if you try to put something on your face don't look like a clown don't look uh like you don't know what you're doing you know there's plenty of videos that can teach you how to do makeup so or at least the basics um feminine hygiene oh yes okay this is one of the big big ones feminine 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 hygiene okay so let me tell y'all the story so i have these pineapples here and i saw this on i've heard this many a time i saw this on the kardashians a long time ago and I had heard it before. I'm getting messages. And I said, I'm going to try it out. So, sorry, y'all. I ate a whole can of pineapple. I didn't drink the juice. Now, this is going to get gross, but it is what it is. So, I was like, I ate the whole can of pineapples in the morning. Like, when I went to. Um, urinate. I'm just going to use a scientific word for it. When I went to urinate, I kept smelling something good. I'm like, what's that smell? You know, I, do I have on perfume? You know, it was coming out of my pores, not even just down there, but here. I'm like, what is that smell? I, I didn't put in any perfume today. And I literally smelled like Bath and Body Works, okay? Like, that's how good that pineapple will work for you. And it just comes out of your pores, every pore in your body, especially down there. So I was like, I smell something like I didn't put on lotion, I didn't put on perfume. It's just really sweet and sensual smelling. And so one time I saw this interview with Erica Badu, Badu, Erica Badu on a Sway morning show, or whatever. And she walks in and she sits down next to Sway and she's like, uh, talking he goes oh my god what is that perfume you're wearing what do you have on I have to know and she said I don't have any perfume on that's my vagina <laughs> and he was like oh 
and so I'm like yeah it works I can tell you um like vaginal perfume pineapples uh, I think Rick Ross has a song called pineapples eat pineapples um so the and the thing is a man's gonna smell it and it's gonna think there's something sweet and it's not gonna know exactly what it is when he asks you <laughs> you can say oh you know it's one of my beauty secrets I can't tell you and let's and then you can say let's just say I eat a lot of fruit just leave it at that and they're gonna be so turned on by it you know what what? Um, like don't overdo onions or anything. Don't eat too many onions. That comes out of your pores too. And not good. So if you eat a lot of onions, eat some pineapple. But it's a very sensual smell. I promise you. And it's easy to uh, seduce men and allure men in person. Now online, they're gonna argue with you. They're gonna say this and that. But if they came face to face with you and in, 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 in public, I'm sorry, I have something in my mouth. If they came face to face with you in public, the whole thing will be different. They will be trying to impress you. They will be trying to see what they can get, you know, information-wise out of you. They will be trying to approach you. They will be all up on you, in your face. Believe me. But on the internet it's different because they have their defenses up they're not in they can't smell you they can't see you they can't see how soft your skin is and how you smell and they can't really hear your voice these are all the things that women can seduce you with you know just like a man can seduce you their deep voice their height their masculinity their ability to provide you know their nice car yeah i had to throw that in there <laughs> okay um the way they smell, their cologne, you know, their facial hair. Um, these things turn women on in person just as well as our feminine charms turn a man on in person. Like, if we were to all meet up, all the trolls and all, I bet you a thousand dollars that no men would be trolling, okay? Because no person in their right mind is able to resist. Uh, certain temptations you know that's just being human so you're not going to get trolled in person of course not people only troll on internet because they can and they don't have any you know obstacles in their way to keep them from trolling like a pretty face a pretty smile a smell you know a nice body um, wanting to impress a woman you know they don't have all that in their way but in person, they will not troll you. So that's why I say my advice works in all my other videos, because a troll is only a troll on the internet. It doesn't work in person, especially with a woman, <laughs> which is why I'm very confident that a lot of things work because, I mean, I still go out and get people that try to come on to me you know and I'm married and stuff like that and I ask them, most of the time I have my kids with me and they will still try to flirt and come on to me so um it's that's just how men are but you know it is what it is and a lot of women don't put enough effort into um you know seduction you know you have to it starts you know from what you're wearing, how you wear your hair, your voice, how you carry yourself, how you smell. It's like a whole package. So hopefully this will help some of you guys. Um, I never leave the house looking crazy. I always have a motto, never leave the house looking bad. You don't ever know who you're gonna meet. You can meet your husband that day. And you don't wanna look crazy, okay? So always leave the house looking your best. And that's one of my main tips. Um, and don't listen to the haters because they know nothing. All they know is that they hate on you for a reason. And when you have haters, that means you're just one more step ahead in getting what you want. Okay? So I will see you guys on my next video. 
Um, if you have a topic you think I should discuss, please put it in the comments and I will look through them and pick one for next week or maybe later on this week. So I'll see y'all later. Bye!